a miracle. For Bodie and Morgan Miller, this journey with six kids in tow is in many ways a new beginning. It's the twins' first time out of the house, so it was a little bit stressful. It was one of those cross our fingers and hope it goes well, and I don't think it could have gone any better. Is Daddy feeding you? This Christmas will be the first with the newest additions to their family. Six week old identical twin boys who until now were known as Baby A and Baby B. So they have names now. I mean, it took a while. For the most part, it's official because they have stockings with their names on it. We still go back and forth. Um, but we have decided on Asher and Axel. Bodie, you good with the names? They're great names. They're definitely a fit. And do you get a sense of personalities with Axel and Asher yet or? Absolutely. Yeah. And they're very different. Asher is much more needy. He loves the attention. He loves being snuggled. Whereas Axel is much more like, I'm okay if you're okay. And even if you're not okay, I'm still okay. So <laughs> he's just much more mellow. Uh, but seeing them together is one of the craziest things where you see like they hold hands and they're like interlock arms yeah. and they like they like being right next to each other. Obviously, they've, that's been most of their life so far. Two new lives bringing joy to the family. Good morning. Just a year and a half after losing their 19 month old daughter, Emmy, in a tragic drowning accident. And I imagine holidays are, are magical. They're also hard after losing a child. Absolutely. I feel like moving forward, it's always bittersweet because you have all these amazing memories and holidays are magical and wonderful and you create all these incredible memories. But you also have those moments where you're sitting there and yeah. you're watching the kids do everything. And I hate that no. I always cry when we no, do these. But it's... Um, There's no getting around. No. It. no. Every day, honestly, you, you deal with it every day. You have to keep going and the kids um, you know, are amazing. We're super lucky and, and feel lucky, mm -hmm. but it's like, there's always this undercurrent, you know, that's what we sort of, I think, are reflecting on in the new normal. It's like there's this undercurrent of, of sort of loss that's just never gonna go away. The Millers have found refuge in the Spanish peaks of Big Sky, Montana. Oh, good recovery! A winter home away from home with a connection to their little girl. We spent so much time with her up here. We do have a lot of amazing memories with her in this area and her first time skiing and just holidays up here with her. And so it's it still feels like we can go through this space and see her and feel her. And there are days where it feels like she's not gone. And then there are days where it does feel like she's gone, but having all of them, yeah. She's still so much a part of your lives. Yeah. I mean, every day. Yep. And you hold on to every memory. I mean, yep. even her stocking is yeah. front and center in the, on the mantle. <laughs> yeah, she'll always kind of be front and center. You need shoes. Keeping her memory alive, Bodie and Morgan continue to share their painful but cautionary story. People will ask us, how many kids do you have? Sometimes he'll say six and, and I will say, no, we have seven. Mm -hmm. And then that obviously comes with the question of, well, where's your other child and answering that question that she's not here anymore. And then they ask, how did she pass? Yeah. And you will respond with, she drowned. And it's hard not to feel like, God, I'm a bad parent. And answering that question is really hard. It's, you know, it's a double-edged sword. It's so painful to go through every single time. Mm -hmm. I cry every single time but we get that message out. I mean, we're all human. The thing is just a part of nature. We, we make mistakes like that. When you have a super harsh consequence for that, it's, you know, it's remarkable how impactful that is internally and, yeah. and psychologically. But for people who haven't had that, it's easy to kind of think that they're above it. And really, it's just a matter of luck at that point. It's like, I, I can't yeah. think of a parent or a person who hasn't done hundreds and hundreds of things that could have turned out horrible mm -hmm. that just didn't. Healing is is a day by day process, I imagine. And it's not like it ever replaces or goes away the pain, right? No, it's yeah. never it's not ever anything that will completely go away. And that mm -hmm. pain is always gonna be there. However, there are parts that you don't realize that need to be healed. You do discover through 
spending time with your kids and traveling and doing all these amazing things do get healed. You just figure out how to live with it mm -hmm. and keep moving forward. Scooch, yeah, and always be careful with your poles. On the slopes, the kids are following in Bodie's tracks. Take it nice and slow, guys, first day. From downhill daredevil to supportive dad, he's teaching them life lessons they can use on and off the mountain. Less sweating, more skiing. Go, Nate, you got it. They're just such incredible kids, and I think that's part of the reason why like, we would consider and would like Even to have more. Even if we more. had some lame ones, I think we'd still do the same thing. But, but you're right, we have, we've been very lucky. Been we have good lucky. ones. Do you all have like a Christmas wish? An unrealistic one, another little girl. <laughs> Honestly, no. Just to be together, I think is really special. And to be here with everyone and have everyone happy and healthy. When you go through tragedy and you realize like how precious those things are, you can't really ask for too much more. Like we're in a beautiful place, in a beautiful home, surrounded by so many amazing people. Our kids are happy, our kids are healthy. We still love each other. <laughs> you can't ask for more. You said it on camera, I have it recorded. It's facts. <laughs> Aww. Well, even with their full house and their full plates, Bodie and Morgan say they will not stop using their voices to advocate for water safety. Their twins are already signed up for an ISR program, which they'll take when they turn six months old. And their 14-month-old brother, Easton, will be joining them for a refresher. He got really good in the pool, as you remember. Bodie also has plans to open a ski academy in the Big Sky area in the future, mm -hmm. combining his love of skiing along with prioritizing his family.